If Christ has not risen, our faith is futile. We are still dead in our sins, and then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men. But, but Christ has risen indeed the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. That is the game changer that alone is sufficient to transform the 21st century. A century captive to the corrosive impact of the isms of our generation. Materialism, secularism, atheism, scientism, hedonism, narcissism, with all their creepy permutations. Permutations like abortion, same-sex sexuality, gender fluidity, transgenderism, and and the slippery sexual revolution that gave birth to them. Easter is the quintessential answer. He is risen. And that is the pivot point of human history. It took scared, scattered disciples, transformed them into lions of the faith, willing to face the tyrant's brandished steel, the lion's gory mane, the fires of a thousand deaths, for Christ is risen, and we can know beyond the peradventure of a doubt that we will rise as well. Immortal, imperishable, incorruptible. He is risen. He is risen indeed.